Hi there, I just had my extensions put in from the extensionist in Calgary. I have almost 20 inches of blonde mermaid hair now that I am obsessed with. Um, you can use coupon code Kiki10 too when you're there and that'll get you 10% off any full package. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a French Dutch braid into a fishtail in this tutorial. Um, braids are great for days when you're not really wanting to wash your hair because braids work better when your hair is dirty. When you have extensions, you're not not supposed to wash your hair very frequently so this braid will be a great one for you when you're on you know day four or five of your hair washing cycle right now I'm on day four and it still looks pretty great so let's get started with our tutorial before I start braiding I always use a dry shampoo on my roots this will help hold your style better give your hair more texture and soak up some of the oil you're gonna have a deep side part to start and I usually use about an inch by inch piece right along my hairline and part and I'm going to divide that into three strands and I'm going to do a couple braids here before I start incorporating other lengths of hair and the difference between a Dutch braid and a French braid is that the Dutch braid always braids underneath instead of over top so every time that I go underneath either from the top I'm taking about an inch piece of hair and adding that in and then when I go from underneath near my hairline, I'm going to do the same, take that from around the side of my face. So as I'm braiding, I'm braiding down along the side of my face. And each time I'm just incorporating more hair into the braid. And as I speed it up here, it's going to get thicker and thicker as you go down and start getting more hair into the braid. I want to braid down just below my ear and make sure that also that you're getting hair in from the other side of your head as well to put into the braid. Once you get down to beside your ear, you're gonna make a change into the fishtail braid. And doing that, you're just gonna take your three pieces and divide them split down the middle into two pieces instead. So I've got my two pieces and the fishtail braid <laughs> takes a long time. So that's kind of why I do the Dutch braid first. So the fishtail braid just uses two strands, which is a lot easier from some, for some people. And all you do is you take a piece of hair from the back of one side and then flip it over the front of your braid onto the other side. So you're kind of just exchanging hair from one side to the other as you're doing this braid. But you always kind of pull from behind and back. So you can see how I'm kind of fishing behind the braid there to pull that hair in. You don't want it from the front, you want it from the back. And I've sped it up because as I said, it takes so long to do this braid, but it is my favorite braid because it pulls apart really easily and gives it that really nice messy look that's so popular right now. And it's very forgiving too. It's, it's easy, it's time consuming, but it looks the best I think. So as you can see, I'm still just pulling hair from around the back and it doesn't really matter how thick it is. I've used pretty thin pieces, but I kind of do thick and thin at times as well. Again, you don't have to be really concise with this braid, which is so great. And I'm just gonna keep braiding down until I have a few inches of hair left because you're gonna pull it apart you want to leave a little bit of hair at the bottom because you're gonna be pulling that up you don't want to braid it right to the ends and if your hair is layered you won't be able to anyway because some strands will be shorter than the other I'm finally getting down to the bottom here <laughs> And I like to use a clear elastic that you can buy just anywhere um, for the bottom as well because it's not noticeable when you tie it at the bottom. Okay, I've got my clear elastic. All right, now the most important part is pulling that braid apart. I've used a little bit of hairspray here as well to start to pull that apart because that'll help the braid um, hold its style as you do that. Okay, I've slowed it down now. <laughs> but as you can see, see how I pull that fishtail apart, how easy that is? You can literally just grab it on both ends and pull. And it just widens so quickly. 
Whereas with the Dutch braid, you need to pull every single strand and loop out as you're pulling. But I love how wide that looks. And you can just pull from the bottom to the top and as you pull up, you'll be pulling more hair and making it thicker at the top too. And it's okay to spend a lot of time kind of pulling it apart to get the desired style and thickness that you want. Pulling it apart really makes thin hair look thick. It's a really great secret. Okay, there you go. Dutch braid to fishtail braid. Thanks for watching.